Condensate Pro. My name's Alan Hart and today I'm just going to answer some questions. I keep getting asked lots of questions about the Condensate Pro and what comes with what and packs etc. And I'm going to refer you to um, Condensate Pro's own YouTube, tra uh, YouTube channel but I'll just quickly go through what comes with what and, and what you need. And for anybody who thinks that I get paid for these videos, um, yeah, I get a million dollars. Dave, Dave Smith, oh, he pays me a fortune. And then for anybody that wants to know the truth, I want to help raise the standards in the industry. And I, and I think that this is a really good product. I really, really like it. And I've not been paid one penny to, to show or support these products. So what is Condensate Pro? So it's insulation for your condensate pipe. And what I'm gonna do, I'll, I'll open this connection kit. This is one, this connection kit, you would need this with most jobs. So I'll just open this. The connection kit comes with this piece that goes into the wall. And it also comes with a pipe snug, just to make it nice and neat and tidy as we put it on and it also comes with some bond bond and seal and that's what you do the joints with on there so this is the connection kit and this is a video off Condensate Pro's YouTube channel and there's a full detailed video on there and it shows you how to install it they've done some really good videos and then if we have a look at this here you've got that connection there now with some boiler manufacturers, and you'd have to check the installation instructions, you can put a reducer in there, and you could take small, small pipe into the house, so it's a little bit easier to get your fall, and that's if the boiler manufacturer approves that. If not, you can use your normal inch and a quarter, and that will go in the house like that as well. I'm just going to connect some of this together and I'll show you how, how I use it. So I don't know if anybody's got these, these cutters for plastic, absolutely brilliant. Just put them on. I mean I've had them a long time now, so blades, blades probably not as sharp as it used to be. Still works perfect to be honest, but. So you've got your pipe now coming out of your wall like that. You'd need to supply your own waste pipe. You'd get your socket, just as normal. Glue your socket. Glue your socket on there. And then, if you can get to pipe at bottom, then you can just glue that on. If not, you just pull it off until you put the insulation on, which I'll show you now. So your insulation... The Condensate Pro insulation comes in a box like that, so it protects it, stops it getting scraped. There is a maintenance kit, so if this did get damaged, bearing in mind it comes pre-coated, I won't call it paint, because it's, I don't know what it is, but it's not paint. Um, but it does, you can get a maintenance kit, maintenance coat, so maybe two, three years down the line, if you've had out that's damaged it or all like that, then you could use that. So then, all I'd do is when you've got your, you've got your pipe in like that now, you've got your lagging over top of pipe, you've glued this socket, you've put some glue in here, put that in there, push that, to there I'd get it close like that and this is on just the way that I do it get your bond and seal open it up cut your nozzle this does go a bit stiff it's a bit it's a bit hard to to use so you need to warm it up a little bit really um, it's warm today so it's really really soft cut that put that around there Squeeze that together and then a little bit will come out of there. I just I would then just go around that with my finger. Personally, I put my clip over joint 
like that. So you don't even seat joint. And then we've got a termination kit. So this is a Condensate Pro termination kit. And again in the box it's pre-made. Just makes it nice and easy for you to, sorry about video here, but nice and easy, pre-made. So you can just stick it straight onto a soil pipe or something like that. If you need that connection, you might not need it. Well, you won't need it most of the time, but if ever you need to connect onto a soil pipe, you've got that kit made up. So that's the termination kit. And in that box, you get the spacer, you get a clip, one clip, and you also get the pre-made pipe, which comes apart if you need to. Obviously you need to glue that together. So really good. As I say, most of the time, you're not gonna need that. You'll just use the, you use the connection kit normally. And then you might need you might need one of the insulation or the lagging. I am rushing this video a little bit um, just to try and answer some of the questions that people's asked me in per uh, personally. Um, but all this information, as I've said already, is on the Condensate Pro YouTube channel. There's lots of detailed videos on there. So that'd be that'd be your kit on the wall. So it look nice. If you have a look at the end of there, going to the wall, so that would all be nicely sealed. So there's no cement running down the wall. So if it's if it were raining when you were doing it, you're not going to get cement going down the wall. My personal opinion, I think it looks looks really good, um, or as good as lagging can look, really. Uh, so we've used Class O lagging for quite a few years. And what we've recently found out, um, or what we've recently been made aware of is standard class O lagging is not compatible it's, it doesn't comply unless you paint it so you need to paint it and you need to paint it twice within seven days so that's just one thing you know for me personally I don't want to go to a job up a ladder start painting um, lagging it's just not gonna it's not gonna look very well um, and you're gonna end up with paint everywhere, dripping it everywhere. So personally, I, I won't want to paint it. But what we'll do now, we'll just have a look at some of this other stuff. And then we've got the grinder head. So Dave, David Smith, or Dave Smith, he's really thought about this to make it easy. So the grinder head, if you've got stone, then you can make it so it's flat, so that your pipe snug fits. So again, a really good design. And then another thing that they've designed is the drift kit. And again, if you've got an old, if you've got an old overflow pipe sticking out, and you need to, you need to core it um, with, your, with your core drill. Then it's got different connections in there, so you can core it, um, make it easier to core. So again, really good. And like I say, please if you can. Go over to the Condensate Pro YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link in this in this video, bottom of this video. Um, go over to his YouTube channel, um, ask him some questions, and and yeah, from me, as I say, I've not been paid anything for this video. It, it don't matter to me, you know, at all what you decide to do. Personally, if I see that I'm not doing some uh, something correctly. I try and I try and um, I try and do it correctly. So um, I've used class O lagging. I found out that it needs to be painted, and I didn't know. I didn't know it needed to be painted. It's what we've always been provided on eco jobs and things like that. Um, and now I know. Then obviously I'm not going to use that anymore. Um, the op there might be other options. So you know, put some comments below and let me know. But as I say, this. It's just all thought out. It's easy to do. It's not that expensive. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Put on the pipe snug, twist that into the brickwork as it is here now. That gives a good tight snug fit. 
really pleasurable to feel that just going in and it feels firm and professional.